Hi, my name is Jordan Brocker. I'm the clinic director at Foothills Sports Medicine Queen Creek location. Um, this is Greg O'Neill next to me. He was my patient for several months, uh, upwards of what, five months, six months? Yes. Uh, as we worked on his knee to get him back to all the things he likes to do in life, especially walking with his family and golf. When Greg and I first met uh, and we started his treatment, uh, he was tight, pretty weak around certain areas, and he was fearful of provocation uh, to the point where it really limited what he wanted to do and what he did in his daily life. Um, but we addressed it pretty systematically and grew to getting him to improve to certain stages, and we systematically continued that uh, all the way from basic walking around the block to walking canal for exercise, and then finally to golf, which was the activity that provoked you initially, but now you're back to, yeah. and doing well with. So, um, and a testament to you continuing to do your exercises as well to keep everything in good shape, because I can only assist you there. You gotta be the person who finishes. He's giving all the credit to me, but a lot of the credit's going to him too, so I guess it goes back and forth. <laughs> but since I've stepped out too, he's kept in touch with me to see how I'm doing. You know, Dad, just as a physical therapist, as a friend too, and that means a lot. Uh, my injury related to physical therapy was, I saw a surgeon, had some x-rays, and I had bone on bone on both my knees, specifically my right knee that was, you know, giving me the most problems. My original PT goals, and they still are, was to um, walk the canal. I live up on a canal next to Brown Road and uh, it's about two miles back and forth. So that my, my first goal was to be able to walk with my dog and my wife, which is a little bit short around the neighborhood and such, which I'm able to do now, and walk the canal for about two miles, which I quite haven't done yet, not because of my knee, but because of the dog. Dog pulls a little bit more. The energy of Foothills when I first came in was really surprising because I, I didn't know what to expect. And I walked in and I was introduced to Jordan and he went, spent an hour with me going through the goals. And Lindsay came over from the Foothill place we started in Mount Brown Road and she was very welcoming. The whole staff was welcoming. Um, my ability is probably better than it was when I was back in my 20s. I mean, even though now I'm about 70% of what I think my knee was at some point because I'm afraid to push it more than as Jordan said, you can do it, you just don't think you can do it. <laughs> and that's what happened with golf a little bit when I started playing golf. He pushed me to play golf, I went to the range, hit some balls, he said, don't go to the range, go play golf. You go to the range, you're going to hit 10 balls in a row and you're going to have more pressure on your leg, go out and play golf and have fun. So I start easily and that, that worked well, even to this day. So. What I've learned with Jordan through the first five or six months I've been here is uh, I went from specific stages to the first month I got to a certain goal to the second month to the third month I got to certain goals and once I finished up and had to step out by myself um, Jordan told me and I realized that I needed to maintain the exercise and therapy levels that I've been doing while I was at Foothill Sports Medicine so uh, I spent almost two hours a day three days a week uh, it's been at least almost two to three months now that I have maintained that and whenever I miss a day I kind of get stiff and fall back even though arthritis is a bit into my system as Jordan said and that's not going to go away but uh, physical therapy is the thing that you just can't feel a little bit better you have to maintain and keep things going because what was in front of me next was a knee replacement and I thought if we could pull this off, which we've done, who knows, maybe I'm one of the exceptions to the rule that can get 10 or 15 years or maybe not ever need a knee replacement. But you put the work in and you continue to do so and that's what makes those results maintain and even improve. Yes. So. And you had a lot to do with it. Glad to. Amen.